May 17, 2023 This is AI News bringing you the latest news. I'm your host, Matthew, here to deliver today's updates. Thank you for joining us. So, let's dive into today's news together. Let's get started. The Irish Times issues apology for AI-generated hoax article. Japan's digital transformation minister issues warning on AI-driven consequences. AI advances, separating hype from reality in the face of fear-mongering. Amazon revolutionizes delivery speed with AI-powered demand mapping. Tech giants double down on AI, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Alphabet invest heavily in artificial intelligence. Revolutionizing user interfaces, AI advances transform human-computer interaction. Revolutionizing education, artificial intelligence boosts teacher-student engagement. OpenAI's chat GPT mistakenly identifies Japan's digital minister as a robot. So, get ready for an action-packed news program filled with information, analysis, and stories that matter. Sit back, relax, and let us guide you through today's headlines. Let's dive right in. Breaking news, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman nears $100 million funding goal for revolutionary WorldCoin crypto project. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, is reportedly close to raising $100 million for his WorldCoin crypto project. WorldCoin aims to create a digital identification system using eyeball scanning technology, which would give people access to a free crypto token. The startup has previously received backing from Andres and Horowitz's crypto fund, Coinbase Ventures, and FTX founder Sam Bankman fried WorldCoin raised $100 million from investors last year, but the new funding round comes amid a bear market for crypto. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI and former president of startup accelerator Y Combinator, is reportedly raising $25 million for a new cryptocurrency project called WorldCoin. The project aims to create a global digital currency that can be used by anyone, anywhere in the world. Altman is said to have already raised money from high-profile investors, including LinkedIn founder Reid Hoffman and venture capitalist Andresen Horowitz. WorldCoin has not yet commented on the reports. In a surprising turn of events, the Irish Times issues apology for AI-generated hoax article. An Irish newspaper, the Irish Times, has apologized for publishing a hoax article generated by an AI chatbot called ChatGPT. The article, titled Irish Women's Obsession with Fake Tan is Problematic, was written by a fake journalist named Adriana Acosta-Cortez, who was generated by the AI. The article became the second most popular article on the site and sparked debates on radio and social media in the country. The editor has apologized and said it highlighted the challenges of generative AI for newspapers. The hoaxer, an Irish college student, used a dull e-profile picture and described the opinion piece as divisive tripe. The Irish Times removed the piece within 24 hours and began a review. A journalist's profile on the Irish Times was revealed to be a hoax created by generative AI. The article was 80% generated by GPT-4 and the profile picture was created with Dahl E. The journalist claimed to be non-binary and against identity politics. The account retweeted a post from the far-left Revolutionary Housing League before admitting to the hoax. The Irish Times editor apologized for falling victim to the deception and acknowledged the challenges raised by generative AI for news organizations. Japan's Digital Transformation Minister issues warning on AI-driven consequences. Japan's Digital Transformation Minister, Taro Kono, warns about the potential errors of AI-powered chatbots like ChatGPT during an interview with Bloomberg. He reveals that ChatGPT mistakenly identified him as Japan's Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida. Kono emphasizes the need to be cautious when using chatbots, as they can deliver incorrect answers due to their large language models, which can hallucinate. ChatGPT has caused frustration among professionals, with concerns raised about students passing off AI-generated content as their own and the spread of misinformation. Japan's Defense Minister, Taro Kono, is pushing for the use of artificial intelligence, AI, to increase productivity and counter the country's shrinking population. However, concerns about the spread of misinformation through AI technology continue to be raised. Kono believes that robots are not a threat to the labor force in Japan and that the country is eager to try new AI technologies. The Prime Minister's Office of Japan has not yet commented on Kono's proposal. 
AI advances, separating hype from reality in the face of fear-mongering. In the field of AI, there is a natural tendency to react apocalyptically to every development that the public notices. However, this fear is based on movies and our resistance to what is new. Tech doomerism is a form of hype and advertising. It is not realistic to think that AI will end the world. The recent public letter calling for a six-month ban on AI lab work is a distraction from the real dangers technology presence. AI doomerism is not new, but it still persists. Many engineers in the field indulge in it, but they often lack understanding of how their inventions interact with the world. Real causes of worry about AI exist, but they are almost always about something other than AI itself. Artificial general intelligence taking over the world is a religious fear, not science fiction, as computers lack will and algorithms are just instructions. The real concerns about AI are its potential to supercharge misinformation and automate jobs, but these issues are political, not technological. AI may make it easier to generate fake content, but the problem has always been dissemination. The response to the degradation of our information networks has been inadequate. The article discusses the challenges of regulating AI and the negative effects of social media algorithms on mental health. The author suggests that a concrete plan to regulate social media may be more effective than vague talk about slowing down AI. The article also addresses the issue of inequality in the United Street. Breaking news, Amazon revolutionizes delivery speed with AI-powered demand mapping. Amazon is using artificial intelligence to map where products are in demand to increase delivery speed. AI will help plan delivery routes, map stops, and account for variables like weather. The company is also using AI to help customers find items and figure out where to stock inventory. Amazon's regionalization strategy uses AI to determine where to place in-demand inventory to reduce distance to customers and increase delivery speed. The strategy requires quickly analyzing data for millions of products. Amazon Vice President Stefano Perego discussed the approach with CNBC. Amazon is using artificial intelligence to predict what items will be in demand in certain areas and then fulfilling those items to warehouses in those areas. This plan has been successful with 74% of products shipped to customers being from warehouses in their region. Other companies, such as CNET and Wendy's, are also incorporating AI into their workforce. A tech CEO has even been spending $2,000 per month on chat GPT plus subscriptions for his employees and claims it has been useful. Meet new demand and expects revenue to grow over time. The AI software market is projected to be worth $850 billion by 2030. Meanwhile, Alphabet is ramping up its AI focus after being caught off guard by ChatGPT's debut. Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai announced that the brain team in Google Research and DeepMind will be combined into one unit to accelerate progress. While Pichai expressed caution about AI, the company is adding AI features to its apps, operating system, and Google Cloud. The updated. Revolutionizing user interfaces, AI advances transform human-computer interaction. As AI models improve human-computer interactions, user interfaces need to adapt. Conversational interfaces are currently served through chat UI patterns. However, these interfaces could expand their utility by collapsing and expanding using voice and incorporating visuals. This is important for interactions with large language model-powered tools like AskLuQ. A new chat interface design has been developed that visually groups question and answer pairs, making them more easily scannable. The design collapses previous question and answer pairs to make it easier to focus on the current content. Integrated actions have also been added to allow users to send images, money, games, and more. The design also allows for the inclusion of images, videos, charts, and applications within answers, with a consistent way to present them and allow interaction. AskLuQ, a new AI-powered tool, allows users to ask questions and receive answers in a conversational interface. The tool includes audio and article objects that expand to show content-specific tools such as a player, scrubber, and transcript for audio files. Object experiences are visually indicated in the conversation list, making it easy to scan for previously seen or used information within the full conversation thread. These modifications to conversational interface patterns are small and may apply to other tools powered by large language models. Revolutionizing education, artificial intelligence boosts teacher-student engagement. New research shows that artificial intelligence can improve teacher-student engagement through an automated feedback tool that helps instructors acknowledge, reiterate, and build on students' contributions. 
This low-cost complement to conventional classroom observation improves teaching and student satisfaction with the course. The tool offers a feasible and scalable way to support teachers' professional development without requiring an instructional coach or expert to watch the teacher in action. Researchers at Stanford University have developed a low-cost tool called Empowering Teachers that uses natural language processing to analyze transcripts of class sessions and provide automated feedback to teachers. The tool focuses on identifying teachers' uptake of student contributions, which has been linked to greater student achievement. The researchers train the tool to detect the extent to which a teacher's response is specific to what a student has said and provide feedback on questioning practices and teacher-slash-student talk time. The tool was tested in the spring 2021 session of Stanford's Code in Place course. Code in Place, a program that teaches coding to beginners, uses volunteer instructors with varying backgrounds and little teaching experience. Instructors receive basic training and lesson outlines, and are given feedback through an app after each class. The feedback is positive and non-judgmental, with specific examples of dialogue. The program has been successful. Breaking news. OpenAI's ChatGPT mistakenly identifies Japan's digital minister as a robot. OpenAI's ChatGPT, a popular chatbot, mistakenly identified Japan's digital minister, Taro Kono, as the country's prime minister, Fumio Kishida. Kono pointed out that the chatbot occasionally generates incorrect information and advised caution. Japan's government is discussing the use of AI with various companies in the sector and is more eager to try new AI technologies. OpenAI is considering opening an office in Tokyo to engage with the talent. Kona's comments were made as Japan examines the pros and cons of AI, with regulation expected to be discussed during the Group of Seven meeting in Hiroshima. Japan's digital minister, Taro Kono, has praised a chatbot called ChatGPT for its success in Japan. The chatbot was created by OpenAI, a US-based artificial intelligence research group, and has over a million daily users in Japan. Kono, who has over 2.6 million followers on Twitter, has promised to modernize technology used by government departments. This is in contrast to the previous cybersecurity minister, Yoshitaka Sakurada, who was appointed despite never having used a computer. Thank you for joining us for today's news. Stay informed and stay connected with AI news. Remember, knowledge is power, and we're here to empower you with accurate and insightful reporting. We appreciate your viewership and trust in our news team. Join us again tomorrow for more compelling news.